for me, what 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 I was afraid of was changing my habits. You know, because I've been eating a certain way for you know whatever forty five years, and then you know doing my taking care of my body a certain way. So for me, what scared me was was uh, the change because it is an investment in your your energy and 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 also cost as well. I mean, it's it's you know the, let's be honest. I mean, there is a a certain cost to this, but it's it, it, you know somebody who's Let's say on the fence in terms of the, the the cost part. I mean, honestly, it's it's a it's a drop in the bucket. I mean, if you if you you know you're going to be on a on a I'll be very frank with you. And I, I mean, you're going to be on a hospital bed in 20 years. You're going to look back at the, that you know X amount that, of money that you would have spent on this program, which which is totally worth it. Uh, but you're going to look back and you're going to say, you know, I should have done it. What is up, my friend, and welcome to the Legendary Life Podcast. I'm your host, Ted Rice, health expert and coach to executives, entrepreneurs, and other high-performing professionals. Today is going to be a special episode. In fact, it's the first episode of its kind. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to have one of my clients on the show today. And you may ask, well, you have clients on the show telling their story quite often, Ted. What's different about this? And I'm glad you asked because this client worked with me three years ago. In fact, he worked with me in the middle of the lockdown during COVID. And what's interesting is that he's maintained his weight within a few pounds for three years. Now, I don't know if you know, but the dirty secret in the body transformation world is that a lot of people in the 12-week or even 16-week body transformation programs end up going backwards afterward. So, This is the first time I've had a client who worked with me three years ago. And I want to continue to have clients back on the show who've worked with me for years. And what's going to be also interesting for you is that I'm going to ask Dean about what else he did to keep his results. Was there any, was it just my program or was there anything additional that he needed to do, some additional work that he needed to do? To maintain his results. So if you're a person like so many of my clients where you've lost weight, but you keep gaining it back and you want to know how to lose it for good and maintain health for years, not just for 12 weeks, this is the episode to listen to. So without further ado, let's step into this conversation with my client, Dean. Hey, Dean. Great to see you, man. It's been such a long time. And thank you for coming on on the show and sharing what it's been like since you joined the program back in 2020. Hey, Ted. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And um, just to share with people, this is our first conversation since we worked together in 2020 and you went off after the program. And now it's the first discussion that we're having with all the things that have happened post COVID. And I'm just curious, you know, could you remind me what were the circumstances when you initially joined the program? What made you join, if you remember, and talk a little bit about your results in the during the program? So, uh, I mean, the biggest uh, decider for me was was COVID. Actually, to be honest, I mean, my my weight was always uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, I had yo yo weight basically. I would gain, I would lose, gain, lose, but I, I really needed to get a a better grasp on my uh, on my weight. Uh, you know, I had been listening to your podcast for a while already, so I I already uh, was incorporating a lot of the things you were talking about and stuff. But uh, I think what really did it for me was was COVID because um, you know obviously it's March 2020, the world is ending. I didn't want to go to the, I didn't want to be one of those <laughs> one of those people that would end up in the hospital. And I recall um, I was going for a walk in the neighborhood and I heard one. Uh, very uh, well-known functional medicine uh, doctor who mentioned that the majority of people that ended up in ER, that he admitted into ER, were obese or had metabolic uh, uh, diseases like diabetes and gout and whatnot. And I think for me, that that's what did it, you know? And then ironically, during that time, I think you had this uh, 10-day challenge, I think you did on Facebook and stuff, which I got on and I, and I, and I liked your you know, your, your message and stuff. So then that's why we, you know, that's when we had that discovery call and, and, uh, you know, I, I saw you were a fit for me. I was a fit for you. So, you know, and then the rest is history. So it was, uh, it was a good, uh, it was, I think the, you know, one of the best decisions I took in my life, because it's, it's one of those things that, um, it's a lot of work, but you know, it, it, the results it's, I mean, it's an investment for your, for your life. You know, I mean, if I wouldn't have had lost those, I think, 
when I started your program, I think I was uh, about 25 or 30 pounds heavier than I am to today. And I mean, who knows what I would have had, you know, in terms of diseases and, or, you know, I, maybe I would have been on medication now, you know, thankfully I'm 48, but I'm on no medication. Uh, I have great mobility. I do sports. So it's, you know, it's for me, um, being on that program with you was, was, you know, allowed me to continue aging in a very healthy way. You know, so for me, that's, that was gold. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. And I remember parts of our conversation, you were already tracking your nutrition with my fitness pal, if I remember correctly, but you kind of hit a wall with it. And what we ended up doing for you was we showed you what you were missing in terms of getting results with fat loss. And we also revamped your, your workout. Is that, what else do you remember yeah, it was, uh, I mean, obviously the gyms were closed. So uh, at least uh, here in locally, you know, everything was locked down. So, you know, I was, I was, um, there was no, you know, hockey, uh, I couldn't play. So it was just basically walks, you know, so there's only so much you could do with a walk. So, but then you got me into the bands and that was great because, and I still use the bands uh, religiously today, uh, four times a week because, um, you know, I'm a busy professional and for me, taking the time to go to the gym you know, getting ready, going there, coming back. I mean, it's, it's, it's easily an extra two, two, three hours out of my day, you know, that I waste, you know, whereas the bands, I go in the basement, they're there. I do my workout. I feel great after, and I see the results. So uh, that, that was uh, probably the main thing I took out of your program. It was the, uh, the, the, the bands and the exercises you taught me. I'm still doing some of the exercises that you've, uh, that, that you taught me back in the program. And obviously I've increased the resistance quite a bit since then. But, uh, so yeah, so, um, that, that was one, I think my biggest, uh, takeaway in terms of physical and in terms of, of, you know, the, the, the exercise, um, I think from, you know, and you said that you said it in your program and in, in the beginning, I mean, weight loss is majority, uh, a mind game, you know, and that's something that I took away from your program. One of the things you mentioned to me was, you know, like uh, there's certain days that you just don't feel like doing anything, but just do something. So there are days where I'm obviously, you know, it's, I'm not, you know, it's just, I'm not, I'm not there, but I'll go for a walk. I'll take my dog for a walk. I'll go, for, you know, get my 70,000 steps. And at least, you know, I'm, I'm ahead more than I was yesterday, you know? So it's baby steps. It's, it's the things you do every day, you know? So that was one of the things that, that, uh, you, uh, during your weekly coaching pro, uh, calls, you would c- constantly profess and, and, you know, it's stuck in, it's stuck with me and it's, it's a, it's a good takeaway I took from the program. Fantastic. And what I love about this, I think this is the first time I've had a client who it's been three years since we worked together. And one of the dirty secrets about the body transformation business is that the, the, a lot of the 12 week transformations, and I have clients like this too. I'm not saying that, um, you know, I don't, I have clients where We've extended the program now. We we make it longer than three months, but there were people who kept falling behind. And so they would join a program like mine and then create a, a transformation because it's not that hard if you're highly motivated to create that change. Unfortunately, if we're talking about, well, where are they three years later? And thankfully, I have enough people now. I've been doing this for long enough. I have enough clients like yourself who've come back and shared with me. Either you're the first one who coming on the podcast, but I've had clients tell me, hey, listen, I'm still more or less where I was with you at the end of the program. And you've tried things before. You said you've yo-yoed. Why was it different with the with working with me? What do you feel was the game changer that allowed you to be a more or less at the same weight, same body fat, great mobility at 48 years old, three years after we ended up working together? I like the structure you put on the program. So you, you, you got me on the app. You, um, so, you know, obviously I was tracking, you know, on, on certain apps on my phone and stuff, but, uh, let's say putting it on an app and, and, uh, having that accountability, I mean, you're accountable for your results, right? So. I'm the type of person that when, I mean, everybody needs an accountability partner for everything, right? To, to, to a certain extent, you know, a coach or, you know, just somebody, somebody there to, to push you, you know, and, and that was the, one of the things that I appreciated. Um, I don't think in the program, I, I, I never really fell back. I mean, I think there were certain weeks where maybe I wouldn't lose as much as I wanted to and stuff, but I, I think I was 
pretty much on a constant decline. But I know that if, uh, but I, I, I did see other people in a program that uh, were a little bit struggling. And uh, I saw you were there and um, you were there to give them a hand. And also one of the things you did was you you encouraged us to also help our peers in, in the program. And I think that was good because sometimes, you know, hearing the same thing from a, from a coach, I mean, even though it's the truth, you sometimes it doesn't stick. But when you hear it from other people who are in the same boat as you, sometimes it, it sticks a bit better, you know. So I think that was good about the program. So for me, that was, I think the structure was was good. I would say also, I mean, it, it was... You know, I guess psychologically, it was like a reset, you know, it was time zero, you know, this is from, you know, I don't care about what happened in the previous uh, 10 years where, you know, it's, uh, you know, my, my weight was was fluctuating up and down. This is the first day of the rest of my life, in a sense, you know, this is the first, this is a new program, I'm gonna, you know, take it for the next three months, see where I go. So for me, it was, you know, mentally, I, I just forgot about everything that happened before. And let me learn, you know, the the right habits and you know, take everything day by day from from that moment on, you know, so I think for me, I think psychologically, that was good just to kind of do something different. And um, yeah, and, and uh, they, they worked out pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So what I hear you saying is the structure of the program, especially during the calls, where we talked about concepts, but also the fact that in the group in particular, where you're hearing people's challenges and one of the things that I've heard from clients about the group as a coach, I, w- I don't want to say I want to hear like, oh man, no, you're so amazing. And the information you share is so amazing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of there and I'm doing my best. But interestingly enough, a lesson for me has been clients, when, when I say, okay, well, what's the biggest takeaway from the group? Like, what are you getting from it that is transformative for you? And what they say is what you just said, Dean. I hear other people, I think my life is the busiest life on the planet. And I think my challenges are just my challenges. Nobody else understands what I'm going through. But when I listen to everybody else, we the challenges, the details are a bit different. Some people have three kids or two kids or one kid or four kids, but the story is the same. Everybody's busy. Everybody's trying to figure out how to put this into their life. And everybody has challenges doing it. And so it's interesting you say that that was the biggest, one of the biggest takeaways for you as well. And then what you said, and I love this, is you came into my program with a clean slate. You said, okay, I've done some things before. I learned some things, but none of it ever stuck with me. But this time I'm going to take it to the next level. Can you say specifically what was, can you talk a little bit more about that? What was the mindset shift? Because maybe this is some gold here for someone listening who maybe they've been struggling with some yo-yo and and, and then what you're going to say right now could potentially take them to the next level with the next program they try. Can you talk a little bit more about the mindset shift? Well, for me, the biggest shift was first, on social media, you know, you, I'm, I'm, um, I follow a couple of pages um, of, um, I mean, yourself, obviously, and also other uh, fitness uh, uh, specialists and, and coaches and stuff. You you only hear the, um, the success stories, right? So people are only going to post the, the success. So, and it's like that with everything, right? On social media. I mean, people are only going to uh, show you the good moments. You're never going to see all the challenges they have in the background. So, you, you know, you, you tend to have this mentality after a while that it's only me that's struggling here, you know, but then when you get on these calls and you realize that, you know, Jane, you know, came home and uh, her house was flooded and uh, she's not in the mood of, of uh, working out today and or, you know, um, something happened at work and she came home and she's emotionally eating or, you know, so it, you hear all the same stories. It's the same things that, that I go through because I'm an emotional leader as well. So, you know, it's something I have to, you know, constantly work on. So it, it's nice to hear that people have the same uh, struggles as you. You know, so that you you have more self compassion to, towards yourself after, because then you know that you're you're not alone. You know, there's there's other people in the same boat as you. You know, so for me, I think that was that was um, a big thing in the program that I that I realized. You know, yeah, fantastic. And when you talk about emotional eating, how has it changed for you since the program? And, and did we help you with anything specific with it, or how do you experience it now and deal with it now versus before? Okay. So quite honestly, I mean, during a program, obviously, um, I would say uh, for me, anyways, whenever I start a new habit, obviously there's that period of great motivation where, 
you know, you do stuff, you know, but it gets to the point where the motivation goes down and you need discipline. And that's where, and obviously that, that probably happened after the three month mark, to be honest with you, because obviously, you know, three months it's, it's, uh, but you say your program is longer now, but, but at three months, you know, 12 weeks, it's, it's, uh, it's enough time for, for a change, but it also takes, takes a while for the brain to follow. So after, after a couple of weeks, I noticed that obviously the motivation went down. I needed discipline. So you're asking me how I dealt with the emotional uh, part. I, I did some work on myself in the sense that I, I realized that um, there were other needs in my life that weren't being addressed that would lead to my emotional eating. So the, the emotional eating was not a, it, obviously it was a, it was an effect of a cause. So I worked on that myself. So that helped. And, um, and also, you know, I, I learned different techniques to, to, to go about it. You know, let's say, if, you know, I'm going to, I know today that I will feel better. If I have a bad day, I will feel better. If I go out for a run or go out for a walk or, or do something productive than, you know, hitting a bag of chips, you know? So that's, that's one thing that I learned, you know, I displace my, my, uh, my emotional leading to something more positive, you know, and the, I'm not always successful, but at least, you know, it's, it's something that's helped me, uh, through the years to, to kind of manage the emotional leading. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. And one of the, so we do things quite differently now in, in the program. But one of the things that we do differently is addressing what you're saying right now. What you just said was, Hey, it, it was transformative three months, but I started realizing I needed to work on myself in some other areas because that was the root cause of emotional eating. And until you deal with that, you're just dr- addressing the symptoms. And right now, one of the things that we do I'll share it to you like this. I had a client, Cindy, shout out to you, Cindy, if you're you're listening to this. And she was deciding whether to continue with the program or not. We um I believe we ended up working for I believe eight months together in total. And she was deciding whether to continue or not. And I said very simply, Cindy, it's cool if you don't want to continue, but if you don't continue with me invest in yourself in some other way. That could be a couple's retreat. It could be, you know, she, she's doing well with her relationship. She's retired, traveling the world, but there is no into, there is no one and done with personal development. And if someone's struggling, and, and I love that you mentioned this theme, because if you're struggling with food and it's coming, it's, it's emotional eating and it's coming from the structure of your business, because you're not running it in a way that is less stressful. Uh, you're not delegating or you know hiring the right people or whatever it is. There's no diet or exercise that's going to cure your emotional eating. Likewise, if you're struggling with some emotional issue with relationships or like me, I, I went and did um, a retreat recently where I was doing some deeper work on some of the things that I've been through in my life, and without and and now I'm because I'm an emotional eater too, right? Now I'm emotion I'm, I'm having less cravings, less response to a reaction to the stresses in my life and just feeling more at flow. But there's no diet and exercise program and some for that. And so sometimes you have to do deeper work and we end up referring people to other experts or even meeting with them in person. We do retreats now. So I love that you mentioned that, man, because it's something that I don't think anyone talks about hardly anyone at least talks about in health and fitness and you and there is no solution there is no diet or exercise solution for that anything more that you want to add yeah no it's it's like you said i mean it's it's um for me um uh, you know managing my um not only my weight but just my my body in general it's um it's it's a it's a total mind game it's it's incredible i mean uh, the the amount of resistance that one could have just in taking care of your of your body you know because obviously it's it's strenuous right i mean it's not uh i always feel better after a workout but getting to a workout sometimes it's tough you know so it's it's um and, I, and that's what i love about about taking care of of one's body it, it teaches you resilience it teaches you uh, i mean it's it's skills that not only use with with taking care of your own self it's it's your whole your whole life you know your relationships your career and stuff you know it teaches you discipline so it's um yeah, it's it's a, but it's like you said, it's a constant. Uh, it's, it's I mean, uh, I'm in this for life. You know, this is a constant personal development thing. So it's, uh, but it's a it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful journey. A journey. You know, it's uh, 
I hope I never get to the destination. You know, there's always more to learn, you know? And I remember our earlier conversations when you joined the program, you're already a fan of personal development and reading books and doing other things. And um, what would you say would be your biggest piece of advice to someone who is trying to break that yo-yo cycling? Uh, the first thing, it's it's the the self compa- self compassion aspect of it. I mean, you're not alone. There's there's a lot of people that are struggling just like you, and I find that alone is is uh, for me, anyways. It was it was enough for me to to keep myself from 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 making the change that I wanted because I thought it was like I was climbing this huge wall. But you, you know, you, you have to remember that there's you know everybody has their own struggles. I would say the next big piece of um, advice I, w- I would give is, um, you know, don't, don't sweat the, don't sweat the bad days. You know, th- there's going to be good and bad days. Um, there's going to be those days like that. You're not going to want to do much for, for, for yourself. Uh, certain days you're going to eat uh, not as good as you'd want to, but those are really drops in the bucket in the end, you know? So that, that's one of the things that I had to shift my mindset on is, is um, I'm a perfectionist. So if, if there would be one day where, or let's say two days where I, you know, my diet just wouldn't be there. My nutrition wouldn't be there. I would, uh, before I would have let things kind of continue because, uh, you know, there's no point in getting changing now because, you know, the past two, three days I've been, I haven't been eating well. So, you know, but it, it's, you know, those two, three days, you know, in, in, in this, in the, in the span of 10 years, it's, it's just, they're meaningless. You know, it's, it's not, the, um, you're not going to gain your weight on, on those one or two days that you, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that, that you, that you, um, you eat, you know, not, you don't eat your best, you know, you're gonna, you're going to gain weight if you eat three months, four months of, of, let's say bad nutrition, you know, and, and likewise, I mean, to improve yourself, it's not going to be that one workout that is going to make the difference. It's going to be a series of good workouts, you know, so it's, it's those, compound effect or atomic habits. I think like there was a book that somebody read about that. Uh, somebody wrote about that. Those are the things that are going to make you improve yourself, you know, and not only for, from a weight loss perspective, but even a personal development perspective, you know, it's, uh, it's the, uh, the small things you do every day, you know? So I would, I would say, you know, to, to whoever's struggling, you know, just start small just today, just, uh, do something good for yourself, do something positive for yourself, you know, and, and that's contagious, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's going to, uh, make yourself want want to do better tomorrow and the day after, you know, and I think uh, you got to start somewhere, you know, and live in the present. You just got to start somewhere. Thanks so much, Dean, because like you said earlier, they can read James Clear's Atomic Habits or they can listen to my podcast, but we're talking, it's, we have this thing. Well, I'll, I'll just say it like this. I have a financial interest of being in shape all the time, just like James has a financial, it, like it's his business to be very regimented and habit oriented because he's built his whole business on it. And, you know, and so when you come on, you're, if I remember correctly, you're an engineer, you also are a pilot, you do a whole bunch of cool stuff. And um, so hearing it from you, who is not a fitness professional, you know, it, it, it can sometimes, you know, mean the world to someone. So thanks for sharing. The last question I would, or I guess second to last question I would ask is, how has your life changed for the better as a result of getting this handled? Not not just with my program, but the work that you did after to where you have this locked in, to where you're the same weight three years later. How has your life changed as a result of that? Uh, it, it's I feel so much better than I did uh, ten years ago. Let's say after you know. It, the, I always think of your program as kind of it gave me the license to learn, you know. So after I I, I had the tools that I that I needed, um, I started to pay attention to my diet, being be more mindful of the foods I eat. You know, I realized that whenever I eat sweet potatoes, I, I guess I I must have an allergy to it, but my my back would freeze up and and my joints would hurt. So I started to play around with that. I started to remove it from my diet, put it back, and I realized that was the problem. So I removed that, you know. I, I paid attention to a bunch of other stuff in my in my health that, you know, it, I was more mindful of of um, basically what I put in my body and and I would uh, I would say that I mean you know it's it's my life is I mean I always I always think of the um, you know you you have this exercise at the beginning of your program the the heaven and hell exercise right so I I I still read it some I still yeah I still read it sometimes and and the other day I found it and and I read it and 
and I read the hell part and, and it's true. I mean, you know, it's, I remember writing, you know, waking up in the morning and, and my back is stiff and, and my joints hurt and I come downstairs and I don't, you know, so today when I, you know, and I, and I read the, um, the heaven part and a lot of it matches where I am today, you know, and it's, it's amazing because I, you know, thankfully I, I'm not on any medication. Thankfully I, I don't have any medical conditions. You know, I, I don't, I don't have to, um, make time to go to a hospital or a clinic to take care of myself. You know, I, for me, it's, it's, um, you know, I, it just being on this, this, uh, development, uh, personal development, uh, w- with respect to my body, uh, it just, I would say, I mean, for, for me, it, it's just the absence of disease that for me is gold. You know, I, I want to age gracefully. I want to continue to do the things that I'm doing today when I'm 70 or 80 or 90, you know? Um, so for me, that's, that's, uh, that's super important. And I mean, it's, it's, it's the science is there, right? If I wouldn't have had take a, had a grasp on, uh, on my health, uh, I wouldn't be where I am today. You know, I have a lot of friends who, who I, I see, um, you know, are, are aging at the, you know, like myself and, and, you know, they're, they're running into struggles, you know? So for me, that motivates me. I, I don't want to be like that. You know, I want to, I want to continue to be free. I want to continue to travel when I want and not have to, you know, change my schedule because I have to be at the doctors a certain time, you know? So it's very important for me, you know? So I, um, yeah, I'm I'm very grateful for for your to, to yourself, your program, and and um, and also you know I'm 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 grateful that I continue to to develop from a personal perspective. You know, after we finish the program, and uh, yeah, sorry to make a very long answer, but uh, it's uh, it's a very deep question. You know? Absolutely, absolutely, and it was a perfect answer. And um, thanks so much for sharing because I think some people tell themselves, I don't know if this is really worth it. And I don't mean working with me. That's a whole nother separate conversation. In fact, that'll be my last question. But a lot of people think, I don't know if this is worth the trouble. I don't know if this is worth going through it. But as you know from your friends and as I know from working with people, and I've seen a lot, I've had a client die in in, uh, Miami Beach, not while he was working with me. He had stage four esophageal cancer was leaving workouts early. He's like, I, I can't do this. I got to get to work. And, and uh, he's no longer around. And if he would have done things differently and could be around today, if he would have prioritized his health more, that, that's a story that sticks with me personally, not just to share on the podcast, but I'm like, man, this guy got caught up and focused and prioritized something and let another area of his life go. And he left behind a wife and I believe it was two kids that he had and everything was over. And, um, you know, I saw my dad die in 2020. And so it's like health. It's just, you know, when we say it's the biggest wealth, I mean, that's not just a cliche. It's if you have a health issue, it's very motivating <laughs> to, that you want to do something about it, especially if you're really sick. And, um, and I'm with you on that. I'm 46 and I'm really, I want to be living a great life in, uh, when I'm 70 and maybe even in my eighties, right? Who knows? Um, Dean, my last question for you is what would you say to someone who is on the fence about working with me in particular? They've been hearing the podcast for a while, maybe a week, maybe a year, maybe more. And what would you say to that person honestly about whether they should make the investment or not i would say i mean i remember when i got on that discovery call with you uh, for me what 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 i was afraid of was changing my habits you know because i've been eating a certain way for you know whatever 45 years i've been you know doing my taking care of my body a certain way so for me what scared me was was uh, the change because it is an investment in your your energy and 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 also cost as well i mean it's it's you know the, let's be honest i mean there is a a, a certain cost to this but it's it, you know, somebody who's, let's say on the fence in terms of the, the, the cost part, I mean, honestly, it's, it's a, it's a drop in the bucket. I mean, if you, if you, you know, you're going to be on a, on a, I'll be very frank with you. And you know, I mean, you're going to be on a hospital bed in 20 years. You're going to look back at the, that, you know, X amount that of money that you would have spent on this program, which, which is totally worth it. Uh, but you're going to look back and you're going to say, you know, I should have done it, you know? And, and that's, that's the thing that I was thinking when we were on this discovery call was, you know, it's, it's, I mean, there's no, there's no price to, to, to health. I mean, this is something that's going to, it, it, it's an investment that's going to compound, you know, time and time again, you know, and, and 
for me, I, w- I mean, I would do your program again any day, you know. And the second thing I was, uh, the first thing I was talking about was was the um, the uh, the change part. You know, it's it's always change is always uncomfortable, right? You don't want to change your habits and stuff. And but but I think that's what makes it beautiful at at the end of the twelve weeks because you're you're changing for the good, you know. So I'd understand somebody who would go who would be going in a program who would be reluctant to do all this change because it's it's. I mean, it, it impacts your, not only yourself, even your family, you know, it's your, um, I understand, you know, if, if, um, you know, for instance, I mean, I'll give you an example. I have a, one of my buddies, he's, um, you know, he, he wanted to lose weight for so long, but the thing is on his, uh, I know for a fact on his dinner plate, I mean, you would have the most unhealthiest foods, you know? And so how are you going to go home after a day of, of work? And um, end up eating, you know, celery when the rest of your family is eating, uh, you know, different, you know, maybe perhaps more, you know, tastier foods or you know, saltier foods, you know. So it's, it's, um, I think it's, it's, but but I, but I, but but then I saw the change in, in in this particular person. Whereas when he started taking care of his body, all the people around them started changing, you know. So that was that was a beautiful thing about it. And now now they're in it as a family, you know. So it's it's for sure that the you know the, the change is different, but uh, you know, it's it's totally worth it because with my previous example, like you, you can not only start helping yourself, you're going to help the people around you, you know, so I would encourage somebody that's that's afraid of that investment in terms of changing their habits and stuff. I mean, it's it, it, it's for the good. It, it may it may be tough at the beginning, right? Because, you know, I recall at the beginning of the program where, you know, I was uh, eating a lot more protein and stuff, you know, that, that was a challenge. You know, my kids are heavily on carbs, you know, teens, typical teens, you know, and I was there, you know, packing on the protein, you know, and stuff. But I mean, to my example, I mean, today, my kids, you know, last night we had salmon and they don't complain. And it's, you know, whereas, you know, a couple of years ago, eating fish for them was, you know, so it's, it's, um, I would just say to somebody who's, who's on the fence that it's, it's, um, it's going to, there's going to be a change, but it's, it's, uh, it's a change for the good. And when you're going to look back, you know, in three years, you're going to look back and you're going to um, ask yourself why you didn't make this change 10 years prior. You know, you're going to feel so much better. Uh, it's going to allow you to do so many more things in life. It, it's just, um, it, it's, it's a game changer. That's what I would tell somebody who's on the fence. Amazing, Dean. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to do this. And especially because of the time frame, three years later, um, let's, let's do this again in another year or two or something. Would love to keep in contact with you and also hear how you've been able to maintain what challenges have come up and what it's helped you along the way. It would be a lot of fun. Thanks, Ted. Thanks for having me. That's it for today, my friend. And I want to ask you, what is one thing you can do differently after having listened to this conversation with my client, Dean? And if you relate to his story, and you really want to make a long-term change where you can sustain your weight loss results for years after you do a program, well, I'm here to help you. Just go to legendarylifeprogram.com slash apply and book a 15-minute call with me. That's legendarylifeprogram.com slash apply if you're interested in getting long-term results just like Dean's. Now, we're going to meet again on Friday where I'm going to talk about why clean eating is overrated for fat loss. So many people feel like, well, I want to lose fat. So the key is to eat clean. And I'm going to talk to you about why that's not the case and what to do different. So if you're a person who's tried eating clean before and maybe you lost a little bit of weight, but it was nowhere near what you expected and you were a bit frustrated with how good you were being with your nutrition and why it didn't lead to better results with fat loss, I'm going to shine the light on why that is. And more importantly, I'm going to talk to you about what you need to do differently. So if that hits home for you, you're going to want to tune in on Friday. Have an amazing week and I'll speak to you then.